The defense could wrap up its case today in one of the most high-profile criminal trials in Chicago history. It comes after Chicago police officer Jason Van Dyke testified on his own behalf at his murder trial. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live at the courthouse. Mike, good morning. Hi, Jason Van Dyke was on the witness stand for well over an hour. During that time, he described what he says he saw on the night he shot Laquan McDonald to death. His face had no expression. His eyes were just bugging out of his head. He had just these huge white eyes just staring right through me. And did you say anything to Laquan McDonald? I was yelling at him, drop the knife. Officer Jason Van Dyke describing his point of view right before he emptied his Smith & Wesson into the body of Laquan McDonald. It was October 20th, 2014. McDonald was armed with a knife when Van Dyke shot him 16 times on Pulaski Road near 41st Street. There were nine other officers there that night, but only Van Dyke opened fire on the 17-year-old ward of the state. The 40-year-old cop says from his perspective, McDonald presented an imminent threat. He turned his torso towards me. And what if anything you do with his arm? He waved the knife from his lower right side upwards across his body towards my left shoulder. And when he did that, what did you do, officer? I shot him. On cross-examination, the prosecutors were able to point out that the dash cam video and the defense team's own animation don't appear to show McDonald raising the knife at all. When pressed by the assistant special prosecutor whether he saw McDonald raising the knife in the defense team animation, Van Dyke responded simply, no, I don't, end quote. Reporting live outside the criminal courts building at 26 in California, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron? Mike, thank you.